Libra, welcome to your 2021 New Year forecast. My name is Ebony. Let's get started. So this is going to be a different kind of reading today. I'm going to be painting the energy, what you can expect for the months individually, January, February, March, etc. And what the crowning energy is, what you can overall expect, what is your opposing energy and what is the overall arching energy of your reading. I've also gone ahead and pulled your Isis Oracle card for the energy that you will be stepping into for the new year, your White Light Oracle card, which is what your angels <laughs> will want you to know, what you're embodying, what to keep in mind. I've pulled an energy healing card for you, Soul Journey card, and a Gaia card. I will be reading these cards as they are deeper and more complex and I wouldn't want to tell you wrong with anything regarding these cards. So we'll see what the Rider Waite reveals with the energy for the months and then we'll reveal your energy cards. Let's do it. All right, Crow Tarot, let's go again for Libra. What is Libra? need to know for the new year. What does Libra need to know for the new year? What's in store for Libra? Libra, 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 Libra. What's in store for Libra? Libra. What does 2021 have in store for Libra? Okay, so first 12 cards will be your months, January, <laughs> February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, for the year 2021. This card will be your opposing energy for the month, for the year. On the bottom of the deck, we have the tower in reverse already feeling this is going to be a pretty transformative year <laughs> with that tower in reverse on the bottom of the deck okay <sighs> big changes libra this card this is about new cycles things being struck out of your life that no longer serve you the universe literally stepping in and removing anything that does not serve you along your path it's in reverse, so it tells me that you're coming out of something. Could be even possibly coming out of something right now. You could be going through a tower moment or have gone through a tower moment right now. Let me know in the comments as you see fit. All right, let's look at January. We have Three of Cups. Three of Cups. This is about celebration. Three of Cups is about celebration. Sharing with people. I feel you're moving into a season of joy, sharing, love in the month of January. This is quite lovely, actually, to start off your reading with the Three of Cups. It's a shared, it's a mutual, it's a collaborative thing. Some of you could also be starting... Um, it's not the Three of Pentacles, it's not about building something, but I do feel there's a very creative energy around this card already. But again, this is about shared gathering. All the work, especially after this tower moment here, <laughs> all the work that's leading into this transformative year for you, which is what I feel it's going to be here, is going to be a, it's going to be a sense of sharing. 
there's kind of a collective energy about this. Very equal give here. I really love that for you. In February, you have the Page of Swords in reverse. Page of Swords. So some of you could be considering uh, starting new things. You're looking at. It's like you're looking. You're keeping things kind of to yourself for this month. It's Or you could have people looking at you <laughs> also. Hiding, even hiding it. It's very kind of, you might be literally getting ready to start really transforming some things in your life here, which is why you may go into a series, a sequence even of inner reflection, or you're looking at things very closely, or someone, and people, vice versa, it's kind of a, a mixed vibe I'm getting with this card right now. You're being looked at, but also you are doing the looking. You are really, and, and there's, there's, there's a hidden element to this. It's like it hasn't been spoken yet. What's happening? What's going on? Okay. So it's just in February, there's going to be some of this feeling of, I'm looking to expand my horizons, but I don't quite yet know exactly. It's like, it's, I feel a building process happening for you right now. In March, ooh, heck yes. You have the Six of Wands. Six of Wands. This is, call this the victory card. It's about recognition. It's, it's also, it's, it is a card of recognition. It's being, it's being recognized. I feel like for your hard work, Libra, I, I do feel a sense of, again, back here with this, this collective energy that you're kind of coming into, a sense of sharing, of good things coming around. It's, it's, it's also a very good card of recognition and victory. Stuff coming to, through to fruition for you and you being acknowledged for your hard work. Your hard work, Libra. In, uh, business and relationships, you're one, you're being looked at. You're being celebrated and you're doing the celebrating. It's a, and six, it's a shared thing. Again, very shared energy going on. I love it. I love it. But you're really being lifted up. It kind of exalted even. I really like it for you. I do. People are noticing. That's why we've got this page of swords back here. It's a hidden knowledge that your kind of your inner strength is really starting to shine through for whatever you're doing. Okay. This is very general energy, but it's just giving me the feel of what each month is going to be painting for you. And I really love this energy so far. Let's keep going. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, hello. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We have January, February, March, so in April. We have the lovers. The lovers. In reverse. I feel some of you by this point time in April, if you are single, possibly will be in a connection with or building, either starting relationships or building up to that. This is Gemini energy, Gemini energy. Some of you could be dealing with a Gen Gemini, but this is just the overall arching energy of this month. It's a very, I know it's in reverse, but it's, it's going to be a very lovely month for you. I think if some of you are, have felt the need, especially again, after this tower to put past things behind you, I feel there, I have, I have a feeling in this card right now that a lot of you will be opening up to love again. If you're, especially if you are single, if you're in a partnership, this is kind of feeling to me like you could be stable or even taking your commitment to a higher level or looking at that. Heart is at the top here, even though this card is in reverse right now. It's just like, I don't always read the card exactly how it's given to me. I just take the energy as I receive it. It just feels like a very lovely time right now where if you are wanting to open up to love again, I feel like a lot of you will be by April or could be around somewhere in that time frame. Okay. Very beautiful energy. This is very beautiful energy already painting for the year. Okay. In May, 
Four of Swords in reverse. I feel a lot of you letting go of old traumas, old hurts. You could have even gone into a cycle of healing. Okay. But, and you could be doing some very inner reflective work, inner soul reflection. I do feel that. But in May, because again, like if you're stepping into something that you haven't been open to in a while, you may have to figure it out. What exactly am I, do I need to release to allow new love into my life? If I am seeking love, if I am, what do I need to release in general? If I'm wanting to start a business, if I'm wanting to go off on a new adventure, what do I need to release? What do I need to heal from to accept this new love into my life? It feels very much like getting yourself on the brink, on the brink to explode. Quite frankly, I don't know where we're going. But it's a very, this is a great energy. I love the Four of Swords because it really tells me that someone has gone in and done some deep inner soul work. They've gone in to do the work on themselves and to heal from any hurts, any past trauma. They're doing the work to heal the self. It's very important. In June... You have the Queen of Swords. Honey, this is you sitting in your truth. What did I just say? You go through this tower moment back here. But by June, what your energy is telling me is you're sitting pretty. Okay? By June, you are sitting pretty, Libra. You're sitting in your truth like you've gotten all this clarity. And it's like you're ready to execute now. Direct. All right? Queen of Swords, you're a challenge. Nobody comes through to through to the Queen of Swords. They gotta come straight. You know what I mean? You take no prisoners here. <laughs> Alright, it's come straight. You will cut something out of your life if it is not serving you in a heartbeat with this Queen of Swords energy. And you know your truth. You see how this her wing, she's pointed off to the future. She's only going in the direction of her future. With that sword. She wields the Queen of Swords is such a beautiful energy. Because this is a powerful person here. All the signs really have their own awesome qualities, but the Queen of Swords, she wields that sword for a reason. She's been entrusted with that sword for a reason. Because she speaks truth to what she does. You are sitting beautifully in this energy come June. Full steam ahead for you, I feel like. At this point, nothing gets by you. Yeah. All right. Taking that action. Slow. Knight of Pentacles. It's a slow journey. It's been a slow journey. It's already been a slow journey for you, Libra. But guess what? The Knight of Pentacles, this is stuff starting to show up in your 3D realm. All the other signs, as far as knights, have to do with, you know, head and heart emotions, things like that, or action. But the Knight of Pentacles, although he is the slowest moving knight in the tarot, he's the only one of all the knights to cross the finish line. So this tells me that when you decide to move forward with whatever new endeavors, projects I'm also feeling like with this card or business, whatever you decide to move forward to, you're going to put everything you have into it and you're going, you're, you're going to spend the time to make sure everything is done right. Every, you're going to do every little step to get yourself to the next phase of your whatever. Okay. And yeah, it could feel like a slow journey. It already has felt like a slow journey. I'm hearing a ton of you say that right now. Like, can we, if we went any slower, we would drop dead right now. That's how slow this journey feels. Okay. I feel you. I feel you. But know this. Slow and steady wins the race. And again, this is the only knight of all the knights in the tarot to actually cross the finish line. He gets there in the end. Damn straight he gets there in the end. Or girl. Male or female. Non-gender specific in tarot. All the energy that's on the board is everything that we're all capable of. Male or female. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Take it as you see fit. Okay? All right. 
because you've decided completely on what you want, Libra. Two of Swords in reverse. You know what you want. You're going after it, honey. This is beautiful. You are going after what you set your mind to. Yes, ma'am, or sir. This is no indecision for you. You see clearly. It's like you've done all this work, so now you have no choice, okay? <laughs> what do we have here? Thank you very much, April, May, June, July, August. So by August, there's no, there's no indecision here. There's no lack of clear understanding about who you are, where you've come. You know what your path is forward. And you're moving in that direction. I love it for you. By September, holy hell. Wow. Oh, yes. <laughs> wow. Hello. Four of Wands. So back here, I was talking about... Um, some of you considering entering in new partnerships. Well, Libra, if you're ready by this point, I have a feeling that, you know, come September, some of you could very well be popping the question, if you know what I mean, or having it popped. I don't know. This is also about, it doesn't have to be love. This is about, they call this the marriage card, but this could be the marriage of ideas. It could be the marriage of projects, things. I feel like people are going to be backing you. This is like collaborative energy. A marriage of ideas as well as love if that is in the cards it is in the cards so for it's like a culmination of it all coming together in September September and letting it go again this card is in reverse letting it go if you don't want it letting go what's not serving you letting go of anything that's not a marriage of ideas that is not in line with your true path your direction your decision okay your true north here, letting it go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You won't be in this energy. Some of you may have doubt. Some of you may question. Okay. Nine of Swords, sleepless nights, anxiety, depression. But you know what I feel with this card right now? It's in reverse. I love that. I hate seeing this card in the upright. It scares me, <laughs> frankly. This telling me right now, you may be putting in some hard work, okay? I'm feeling some creative ventures for you that just keep you kind of on edge, all right? Um, I'm also kind of feeling... Yeah, you could be a little stressed. <laughs> With all that you're doing, you may be taking on more on your plate as well. And it's just leaving you a little, a little stressed up in your head. Possibly unnecessarily, but you are a Libra and you've got a lot of swords. All your swords are showing up for you. So finding ways of balancing the stressful energy that you will go through. Okay. Your, your processes, like, me being a Libra myself, I understand this, where it's like emotion, people interpret and feel and express emotion very differently. A lot of people aren't aware of this, that we don't all express or feel emotion quite the same way. Like some people, when they're hit with an emotion or feeling, it hits them and they just have to experience it. Whereas sometimes, and I think a lot of earth signs as well as water signs especially, do this where it's like they're hit with the emotion and they just have to experience it right whereas sometimes with air signs we're again very much in the mind right so i could get hit or you could get hit with an emotion and it's like you have to bounce it up in your head first to think about it get some clarity on it and then bring it back down to deliver it and reveal go through your thought process of how you felt about it it's not it's not a discredit to you. And it's not a discredit to anyone who experiences emotion differently. It's part of this process that we do experience emotion differently. I know for a fact when I'm hit strong, that's why you'll see me even pause on the cards. It's like I'll look at it. I have to analyze and see. It goes up in my head. 
I hear or see what I need to see, and then I bring it back down and deliver it. That's literally my process. <laughs> That's how it works for me, okay? And I know that, back to this Nine of Swords energy, that you will be, you are an air sign, you will deliberate and deliberate and deliberate to the point of madness. And so I'm thinking by this time in your life in October, and this is your birth month, by the, by the way, this is you learning how to release that anxiety pressure that you put on yourself. This is learning that you don't have to be up in your head. You will have found the ways to beautifully master your own mental process and clarity. And I love that for you. I really do. Hey, because <laughs> when you do, by November, you're moving forward again. Moving forward with your cup of love. You will have that love again to offer because you won't be in all this disruptive energy clouding you from what you cannot see. Again, line of swords, what we cannot see, we just feel and we're help and it's literally a helpless energy. But you're not in that. You're coming out of that. You're letting go of that so that you can properly march forward with your cup of love. I love that for you. And it will be reciprocated, darn right. Two of cups. Two of cups. A lot of cards are coming out in reverse. Don't take it necessarily. I go with the energy as soon as I, I feel it again. What I feel like with this reverse two of cups, mind you, is that anything that is not serving you, that is not a balance for you, you will be letting go. And in partnership, that includes anything that is not a service or a balance to you, equal give and take, you will be letting go. Okay. You only accept this right here. Equal give. Okay. You have your cup of love to give. Some of you could be getting married too. I did get that. Or engaged too. I'm really feeling a strong. You'll be meeting also your soul partner. Some of you already have back here. There's a lot of union. Ha I feel a lot of union happening. Actually in this year for some some Libras, finding their soul partners who they're meant to connect with in this lifetime. For singles and also deepening the bonds with, with partners who you are currently in, in partnership with. This is a very, uh, very, oh yeah, it's a transformative year. New decade, new decade, new, 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 new. It's beautiful, beautiful energy. Your crowning energy for the year is, what do we have, what do we have? Three of Wands. Libra, you've waited a long time for your ships to come in, and I think they finally are. You've waited a long time, putting the past behind you, letting go of all the past, this tower back here, letting go of all the past, Libra. Yeah. You're walking away from anything that is no long that has not served you over the past years. Say goodbye 2020. Say goodbye to the last decade that has not been that has been a learning journey. That's why you've gone through all this healing back here, okay? This has been a journey, a big one. You're learning. You've learned how to love yourself. I really do feel like Libra, so that you can properly offer your cup of love to work, to partnership. This is beautiful, really beautiful. Okay. <sighs> oh yeah, let's get going. Okay, so your healing energy card, I'm going to read these cards because they are complex. And as much as I know about tarot, I would not want to get these cards wrong or for you to miss anything. So your healing card is, how, what did I just say? Elevation. Elevation. Pay attention to this light here. Get a good look at it. Elevation. I love that. I free myself from fear 
and trust the universe. I direct my thoughts to the beauty inside and around me. I use my spiritual strengths and knowledge to create light and rise above all doubt. I love when the cards literally help to clarify in that way kind of everything that we just talked about in a reading. I love that. That is beautiful. Your soul journey card wants you to know courage. Courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Sorry, I'm just getting an additional feeling from this card. Some of you have gone through some pretty heavy loss. I know that personally, but I'm also feeling kind of a collective energy going on right now. Um, but your courage is going to shine through this year. Know that. Through everything that you've had to let go and put down and release. And what you have lost. You are going to have the courage to pull through your biggest fears, Libra. Your Gaia energy is Flora. Flora. She is your... I'm going to read this card to you. Flora, the flourishing one, was the Roman goddess of flowers, gardens, and spring. She is the embodiment of all nature. Her name has come to represent all plant life. She is especially a goddess of flowers, including the flower of youth. Her festival of unrestrained pleasure, the Floralia, was celebrated at the end of April and beginning of May. This festival was probably the origin of Maypole Dance, of the Maypole Dance, and the gathering of bouquets of flowers, symbolizing the bringing of spring and new life into the world. She gives charm to youth, aroma to wine, sweetness to honey, and fragrance to blossoms. Flora teaches us to honor growing things, both inside and outside. She is a reminder to pay attention to pleasure, to the beauty of spring, and to new life, wherever it is found. Flora. That's beautiful. Flora. Okay. Your white light oracle for the year. What are you stepping into? Sacred scar. Sacred scar. Number two, I'm going to read this card to you because I have no way of interpreting what it means, <laughs> what it means without this handy book, but I want you to see it. I'm going to find it. I'll hold it up for you so you can see it while I read it. Sacred Scar 85. Again, I would never want to tell you anything wrong with these cards, which is why I read them to you. Okay. Flora, this is your white light oracle and what it's wanting you to know. Your inner and outer scars are marks of your soul's courage. They are signs of strength and survival of your willingness to be alive. The sacred scar speaks of that which once caused pain, being transformed into higher knowledge and inner power. Trauma shall be transformed through spiritual initiation, leading you from woundedness to wisdom. You have nothing to be ashamed of. You can trust your healing process and in the hidden higher purpose behind things happening as they do. You are strong and you shall flourish on all levels. Flora. Sacred Scar.
All right, final card, guys. Your Isis Oracle energy. Ah, yes, which you are stepping into for the year. Chariot of Ascension. Ascension. Chariot of Ascension. Spiritual work of the higher initiate. Chariot of Ascension. I'm going to read this card. Thirty-three. Ooh, three, three. Hey. I'll equal out to six. Do balance. All right. Chariot of Ascension. Your soul wishes to travel more freely between the dimensions of higher reality. This is to allow for conscious spirit communication, the free flow of soul light into the physical body and the joining in divine harmony of heaven and earth. It requires a powerful consciousness to do this. The Merkaba, chariot of ascension, and the soul fire is the spirit gift to attain these divine purposes now, available to you as a high initiate. This is beautiful. You are ascending. You've learned all these hard lessons, Libra gone through so much for your own ascension. This is quite beautiful. I'll pull a charm for you. Or three. <laughs> or more. Mm hmm. Hey, yep. Well, Heads up, honey. You got a symbol of coin showing up in your world. <laughs> Lincoln, heads up. Hey, it's always a good sign. Okay. The year on that is 2014. Heads up, Libra. If that is significant to you. Always nice to have a symbol of coin show up for the new year. Oh, yeah. Okay. You've got two rings here. Two rings. You got the white heart, pure, because you do, pure heart, and you have this kind of like a sunshine, sunny, yellow diamond fake, of course, but, <laughs> but the semblance again, possibly unity, I do feel that, unity with either of these rings, it doesn't matter. Could be two loves, could be two love interests, shared, two of cups back here. It's beautiful energy. You're going to be happy. I just feel like telling you. Very happy. Very happy. Get this little bow. So you could wear a bow. Christmas, putting a bow on it. It's like it's being gift wrapped. We are in Christmas, but it's like this year is being gift wrapped for you. That's what I feel like telling you. And you have this locket with a rose. When I see this locket, I kind of think of holding on to memories, the memories that serve but also creating new memories. The rose. Red rose. You could also have a locket. Someone's picture could be in it, but you're creating it. New legacy. Libra, this is your reading for 2021 new year forecast. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to let me know if any of this resonated for you down in the comments. You can now follow White Crow Tarot on Facebook and Instagram. You can also follow myself at I am Ebony Wilson. If any of this reading did resonate with you, please be sure to go ahead and leave this video a like, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and smash the notification bell to be updated for new videos. I hope to see you again. Thank you.